In this video, we'll balance the decomposition of silver nitrate, AgNO3. So to balance this decomposition reaction, let's count the atoms up on each side. Silver, we have one of those. Nitrogen, one. And oxygen, we have three. On the product side, we have just the one silver, we have one nitrogen, and we have two oxygens. Plus, you got to count these two oxygens here. So we have a total of four oxygen atoms. Usually when I have an odd number of oxygens, I like to double that. If I get that to an even number, it makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the AgNO3. So we have 2 times 1. That gives us 2 silvers. We have the 2 times the 1 nitrogen. Gives us 2 nitrogens. But 2 times the 3 oxygens. Now we have 6 oxygens. So it's getting a little bit closer. Let's do this. Let's fix the nitrogens. Let's put a 2 in front of the NO2. So we have 1 times 2. That'll give us two nitrogen atoms. Those are balanced. Then we need to update the oxygens here. So now we have 2 times 2. That's 4. Plus the two oxygens here. That's 6. And now everything's balanced except the silver. And that's easy to fix. We just put a 2 here. 1 times the 2. We have two of those. This equation's balanced. The thing that people have problems with, two things. One is they count these two oxygens and then they forget about these. That'll make it difficult to balance. And the other is when you have this odd number here. If you multiply the whole thing by two and you get this to be an even number, that usually makes it a lot easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the decomposition of AgNO3. Thanks for watching.